Well, it's a very well-known uh, Romance language department with a very good leadership and very well known in the in the, in the field for its own contributions in in research and a scholarly development of Latin American perspectives. We have here two or three of the best, uh, uh, all, already the best scholars. So when Tufts opened a position for a for a professor in in Latin American studies and having a, a background as a sociologist and also as a writer, I thought that this was probably the best place to teach. Well, I think that uh, the most important uh, experience anyone can bring to a university is a, a difficult mixture of passion to teach and uh, also doing your own research as deep and as profound as you can because only if you are really bringing up your subjects and your concerns to class, you can engage uh, students in in the topics that you are all already researching, but that they will find compelling for their own careers. So it's a strange mixture of good research, profound and deep uh, research, with a passion to to teach. And my, I, I've been teaching for 27 years, and I think that. Uh, Probably it's the best way to always keep in track because you cannot get old and you cannot rely on on past uh, experience with with teaching. You have to be every year or every semester uh, relearning. And also another thing that that colleges uh, bring up, it's probably the best place to unlearn, and that's the only way to relearn. I'm teaching a, a survey on Latin American literature from the conquest to 19th century to the starting of the independence and also uh, uh, an advanced Spanish uh, course where I compare five uh, Mexican novels with also five uh, films from the 20th century. So we go to the f first ever uh, sound movie produced in Mexico in 1931 to Amores Perros uh, and the Mexican post-identity. Well, probably it's one of our, uh, of, of all the persons that come to the United States with a Latino heritage, it's a responsibility to, uh, I think, start awareness will not be well said, but to keep on the awareness that this will be the most important minority in the United States and being the most important uh, minority we have to to be very very uh, cautious of its participation on politics of Spanish language in 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 America I'm really really concerned about uh, not only the what what we call Spanglish but also to the awareness of of Latinos that really want to speak good Spanish and be able to communicate in both languages. So I'm, I'm pretty concerned on bilingualism. Well, yeah. we, we still have to know if they will go to the, to the polls and really be decisive. But uh, I think that it cannot be, uh, you, you cannot start being concerned or starting public policies just before an election. And at the same time, you're creating, for example, in the case of the Democrats and Obama, they're creating this very important uh, dream act or dreamers uh, movement where they are uh, deferring the deportation and at the same time they are deporting uh, more persons a day than ever. So uh, you can, uh, after the election, whoever is the president, we have to restart uh, working on a on a general immigration law, and and I think that's one of the uh, terrible things about politics that everything goes on only on election on, on electoral times. Well, uh, even in, in in the question is very clear the answer. Uh, we need to learn about cultures. Multiculturalism is just the first step because it's the step when you recognize that there's, there are others.
but it's just the first step. The other thing is really, really get along with other cultures, really accept them. Uh, uh, so we need an, an ethics and a politics of tolerance in all senses, religious tolerance, uh, r uh, race tolerance, and cultural tolerance, that it's the most difficult of the, of the three because culture uh, embeds, embeds everything. So I think that's the, the, the one of the things that, in which uh, professors and students can participate on a daily basis, on recognizing other cultures, participating in other cultures. I'm, for example, now I am uh, advising here in the Fulbright uh, uh, Committee, and that's another way where uh, uh, American students can be ambassadors of their own culture in other places abroad and then bringing back all that awareness of how is uh, uh, how can we in the 21st century relate to this uh, cultural diversity.